Hello, and thanks for joining me on this video today. On today's video, it's going to be a multi-part uh, mini-series, actually, and it's going to be talking about specifically site-to-site -site VPN. Uh, throughout these, these few videos, we're going to be configuring um, inside of a lab environment. Specifically, we're going to be using VMware. I'm going to be having a couple different clients inside of different networks, and we'll, we will be having uh, two PFSense routers that will be having a site-to-site -site VPN configured. The the result of our of our lab uh, practice here is that we're going to actually have a client machine in the net, in a network be able to connect over VPN. So we're and we're going to replicate sort of a VPN connection here to a completely different network. And in addition, this client here will be able to use VPN and actually get out to the internet through this this PFSense router here. Perfect. If you're if you're comfortable with VMware um, and setting up the the LAN segments and host only and NAT and whatever, um, feel free to skip ahead to later videos. Uh, the first video though is going to be talking about the network configuration. So we're going to go in. We're going to look at how do we set up the IPs? What does it look like in PFSense? Um, and then the later ones, we're going to go through actually setting up VPN. And then another video, we're going to be going through the actual firewall rules that we need to have in order to actually allow traffic to traverse this VPN and go between the internet on this side and clients and, and all kinds of great things like that. Awesome. All right, let's get started and let's go ahead and open up our VMware and look at the machine configurations. Okay, first things first, uh, I wanna get one thing out of the way. The client machine really doesn't matter who it is. It could be Windows, it could be Linux. Uh, it, ha it really doesn't matter because these are on a, a LAN segment and they, are, they have a DHCP, the DHCP enabled. And so when we set up PFSense on the LAN, we're gonna be setting up so that the, the network that these machines are attached to are given IP addresses. So it really truly doesn't matter uh, what this client is um, because what's what's being routed is the device that actually ends up being on the network. I first want to talk about our our PFSense setup because those, those are the key machines that are happening here. Because like I said before, these don't really matter. Uh, if we look at the site A, uh, PFSense machine here. We have actually two interfaces on this machine. We've got our a WAN interface because we are imagining that this is a completely different branch office and it's going out to the internet. Uh, and then we have all the devices that are on in the internal network attached to this LAN. So we have two interfaces. We have the LAN side and we have the WAN side. Let's jump over and actually take a look at that machine. And here we are. So we're inside of our PFSense machine on the site A. And like I said before, we've got our WAN and we have our LAN. And the we're in a we're in a lab environment. So I actually have set up this IP as a static IP address. Now let's go look at the VM settings here. And and we're looking at our two network adapters. So we have one and we have two. And I have it set up with a host only and it's one that I've built okay um, our second network is just a just a regular LAN segment and what we what's important to note is that this does need to be a static you can it can work with DHCP enabled however that wouldn't make sense in our lab environment because we don't need that IP address uh, releasing on us and effectively breaking our VPN um, but when we set up our our LAN segment is just a shell, and effectively we need this this network to give all of the machines inside of it an IP address. So we set up as a host only for this uh, WAN, and we give the LAN the capabilities for PFSense to have DHCP, so it's going to distribute that IP address. Let's go take a look at our next machine. Our second machine here is our site B PFSense. Um, and as you can see, like this is a this machine over here, network over here was a a five network, and over here it's a one network. And if we, we remember, we had two interfaces here, 
on this machine, we actually have three interfaces. We've got our LAN segment, which very closely replicates what we did over here. So these machines, any machine on this network is actually going to be given an IP address as long as it's requesting it. Uh, we also have our WAN interface. This is this is the capability for going out to the internet. So these people here can go out to the internet through our WAN interface. And then we have our third interface, which is the one that's facing our our WAN of our site A PFSense. Okay, so this interface here and this interface are 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 kind of facing each other. Okay, we're also replicating. Remember that this is the internet and that we are going to encrypt all the traffic across the internet between these two interfaces. Let's go and look at the configuration uh, inside VMware settings of this machine. Okay, here we are over at the site B PFSense. And as you can see, I've got three different interfaces. The WAN interface, this one is configured to be uh, set up with NAT. Let's go and look at the settings. The very first one, I've configured it to a NAT. The LAN network over here is over here. And the LAN would be connected to um, 1.1 there is the interface and is actually for the LAN segment. So this LAN segment is for the site B and our opt one is going to be the exact same host only um, that we have created over the exact same one that's on the other side over on this machine here. Now remember, we need, do need to have our, our uh, we do need to have these uh, IP addresses on the same, same host only network. We will be encrypting it, so don't, don't worry about that. So there you go. That's actually the, the the basic setup of the the lab environment. I have a I have a, a few other videos in my on my channel that actually show about uh, some PFSense configurations. So like adding adding uh, interfaces, setting IP addresses. Uh, I'll link to those in this video so that you can go ahead and watch those if you want. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually access our first VPN, our sorry our first PFSense machine through our client. And remember I said it doesn't matter who the client is because it it, they just get added as a machine on this network. So you'll see in the video that this is actually a Kali machine and that this is actually a, an Ubuntu machine. Um, and right off the bat, we're actually going to be looking at how did it, how does it work? Okay. Let's move on to the next video.